Check it out, folks. I got a good one for you. Check this out. We're getting ready to make a, a slow cooker, you know, a jambalaya, right? But check this out. I only got a 10 minute prep. Let's get it. You guys can take a look. You know, I got some ingredients right here. Don't forget, as always, now, that's on my website. They now they're printable. You guys can take screenshots, do all of that, which is smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Now, going right into this video right here, you know what I mean? In this recipe, I'm gonna show you, man. When I tell you it's super sim simple, it's super simple, right? So we gotta do a little prep. Now look, when it comes to my prep, I just wanna say this right off the back. You guys see I got that long grain rice, right? I'm gonna slide this over here like this, cause we're not gonna put that in until about the last hour, right? But right now I'm gonna go ahead and just start with my, you know, my sausage, right? My sausage, I'm not gonna bore you guys, cause I'm gonna go fast. I told you, 10 minute prep. All right, so next we're gonna do, you know, that's our celery, right? It's up to you how small you wanna do it. This next one, I'm gonna cut it down into halves. This is just from experience, you know what I mean? Cause I like to have a little bit of a bigger, you know, bite to it, <clears throat> right? So now I'll just take it. Now we'll just add this in the inside. One of the things that I love about having a crock pot recipe, slow cooker, whatever you guys wanna call it, is the fact that it's just really dump and goes, you know? Now when it comes to your bell peppers, what I'm gonna do is, and I wanna show you this too. A lot of times, you know, I cut them up like this. This is still good, you know what I mean? So I could just cut this down. But for, for the sake of, you know, time management right now, I'm just gonna do this. Now I'm not finna bore you guys. You guys gonna see me do these bell peppers a million times, you know? But I will come back to it and let you guys see that I'm gonna make it. I wanna finely dice these. Now I'm, finna, I'm not finna bore you guys, you know? I'm just gonna do the same thing you just see me do with the orange one. We're just gonna break all of them down, get them all diced, you know, nice and you know fine, or small, and go from there. You see, I got this all broke down, right? Let me get this out my way. You know what I mean? Uh, we just put that over there like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my onion. Same thing, but this one right here, we just gonna dice this down. And I'm gonna use this large onion, and I'll show you how I do it. Look, when it comes to chopped, you know what I mean? And when I'm doing this in the, in, inside of a slow cooker, I don't go ahead and dice this down, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here is good. You know what I mean? If you see something, that, uh, that's good right there. You see that right there? About this size. Now you see why we need a whole onion. Now, don't forget, we're gonna cook this under a little bit of time. So a lot of this is gonna get nice and soft, you know, and dissolve. You know what I mean? And just, you know, render its flavor. What we're gonna do now is, we just finna add this to it. Always gotta do it this way so I don't get nothing on my, you know, my counter, right? Now I'm gonna mix this up for you guys so you guys can just see it. You know what I mean? It might have looked like a lot in the very beginning, but as you can see, once you get it mixed up, don't forget rice is going here. We're getting ready to add tomato paste and the rest of the things. Then we're gonna have shrimp, all of that. It won't be so as abundant as you see it right now. So just trust the process, folks. Wait till we get to the end and tell me what you think. Okay, so look, now we got my chicken out. I done tried to clean up some of this, you know, some of this fat, but it's okay. If some of it makes it in there, that's all right, right? So you wanna cut this down in whatever size bite pieces that you would like, you know? You can actually beat it down if you wanna like make it, you know, go further. You know what I mean? Uh, don't forget, it's gonna shrink a little bit, but I just like to have a little chicken in mind. I don't know about you guys. You guys let me know down in the comment section below, right? So we just do it like this. If you feel like it's gotten too much, the pieces are too big, just cut them down. You know what I mean? There is no right way or no wrong way to do it. You just wanna, you worry about your end result, right? So you see these pieces? I'm just getting them the way I like them to be. You know what I mean? And then we'll just add these inside. Right, so this one looks good. Now notice I cut them all kind of different ways. I actually could have cut this in half, like start off like we about to butterfly, and then go from there. Like I said, no right way or no wrong way. We pretty much got the same size bites. You know what I mean? Uh, Another reason why you want them to be as close as possible because you want them all to be ready at the same time. You don't want to overcook them, right? So we'll just add that into that. 
And by now, you guys should be seeing I love crock pot or slow cooker recipe. If you pay attention, look, I got, you know, the chicken, my veggies, I got my sauces in there. Now, I'm really, it's all about being a dump and go. Really, but you still had to do it like a little bit of prep because you got to do something to the bell peppers, slice down your sauces, stuff like that, right? But now we just add everything. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, for those of you guys that already have been using uh, crock pots and slow cookers, I got a question for you. Tell me, do you guys preheat your, do you preheat your uh, slow cooker or crock pot? Let me know down in the comment section below. So next, what we want to do is just add our dry ingredients, right? Don't forget, the full ingredient list with the measurements and everything is on my website, smoking and grilling with ab.com. Now, I've been cooking for a minute, and I know just about how much I need and what I need of what. For all you guys that are new, you know, new or never made this, that's why we have to have our, uh, you know, our ingredients list, right? And then we have our ingredient list, and then we have our measurements. Now, look, this is the Creole kick. This right here is what sends it over the top, folks. We Now, if you guys don't have this, I'll put on my website inside the ingredient list. It's just a Creole seasoning, but I think just about the whole planet got some of this right here right now. Now, we're going to put just about, uh, I'm going to start with two cups. That'll probably do it right. You know what I mean, of uh, chicken broth. Let me get a little bit more. I don't know about y'all, but look. I had cooking in high school. They tell you, you're supposed to look down, make sure you had eye level, make sure that say, you know, two cups is real, right? So now we'll take this, we'll bring it over here like this, and we'll just add this to it. Now, if you, you see, now I'm just gonna give this a, you know, a nice mix. The only thing you're gonna have left is what? You're gonna have your shrimp and your rice, right? And then what we're gonna do with that is, we're gonna add that in like the last, hour but don't worry i'm gonna give you guys the timing and my shrimp gonna be a little bit different you know what i mean we add that probably the last you know maybe 15 20 minutes but i just want to give this a good mix i'm finna put the lid on and then i'm finna set the time now i'm getting ready to set this timer right listen we finna go three to four hours you can do three to four hours on high or you can do seven to eight on low super easy me i'm finna go four hours on high so we hit power high cook we get my time up put it on four hours and hit start. Okay, folks, now listen, we got one hour till this timer's finished, right? I don't know if I had said before, but like an hour before, it's completely done for your four hours, right? So that means hour number three, this is what we gonna do. We finna add one cup of long grain rice. There we go. You see that right there? Real easy. And listen, I probably should have said this too. Listen, crock pots, slow cookers, all of that, they designed to hold the heat in. Do you know that every time you lift this off, you might as well, say you lift it up and you want to do a little stern, add 30 more minutes onto your timer, right? It's all designed so that it'll work right and keep the heat in there so it can meet that time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open it. That's the first time I open that up. Get my spatula. Oh my goodness, look at this right here. Now I know we got a little bit, you know, a little broth and all of my tomatoes and paste and all of that. Everything is marrying together, right? Now we finna come with my one cup of that long grain, right? Now I'm just gonna do it just like this. Now what I wanna do is make sure it's all completely submerged. This is what you want. Just one cup. I know it disappeared and all that, but you know how rice do. It's finna swell and get down and do its thing. Now, I'm finna set a timer. Check this out. I'm gonna set a timer for one more hour, right? Then when that's done, let me put this top on. When that's done, Right, we'll let this finish. When that's done, all we're gonna do is add that shrimp. We're gonna let it soak for about 15 minutes. And then we're finna put this in a bowl and we're finna eat, folks. Four hours then went by. Now, I'm gonna show it to you right now. If you guys come and take a look, you can see the sweat on the glass. You know what I mean? That's the, some of the steam, right? But I'm gonna go ahead, take this off. Now, this is my first time stirring it. You know, because remember we put the rice in there. Ah, oh, yeah. You see the rice? Now, if you wanna add more rice to it, I guess you can, you know what I mean? But you want to have, have done that earlier. You got to remember, this right here is going to be super, super filling. And then if you guys are lucky enough to have, I guess that's unlucky, but if you're lucky enough to have any uh, any leftover the next day, all of this right here comes into play. It's so thick and like warm and hearty. Look, stick to your bones, stick to your ribs, and it'll warm you up. Now, for the next 15 minutes, here, I've been holding these back and I haven't shown these, but you know they got shrimp in them, right? 
Look, I keep the tail on. If you guys want to go ahead and take the tail off, you can. But right now, we're finna add this. And I'm gonna have to reset my crock pot or my slow cooker, whatever you guys want to call it. And the reason being, because mine, after my timer goes off, you know what it does? It automatically sets up to warm. Those are the best ones. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get all of this in here. And to be honest with you, you just want to make sure that all of your shrimp that you just put in there is down underneath and completely covered, right? All that shrimp you just saw me do, look, I just push it all down like that. I don't want to see no shrimp. Why? Because I want it to absorb everything. You know what I mean? I want it to cook. And I want it to be nice. Now, I'm just going to add another 15 minutes. That's all we need. And I'm going to be doing it on high. Okay, folks, so look, now it's the moment of truth, right? So look, took the top off, already done that. You guys can see, I gave it a little bit of a stir. I'll do it again. You can see this right here. I done brought that shrimp up, but you can see the shrimp is cooked. Look at that right there. You see that steam coming up off of it? Mm. I know it ain't right, folks. Now, let me go ahead and put some of this in the bowl. Let's go ahead and taste this. Hey, so look, I'm not gonna be long-winded, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Since I left the tails on, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one of these. You see that right there? Ooh wee, folks. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm. This is fire. Now, I can tell you, just by the jambalaya that's on there already, mm. let me get one of these with this. You see that right there? That's why I like to cut them in slices too. Then you can see some that was in halves, all different sizes. So listen, this right here is fire. You gotta come back and talk to me after you make this down in the comment section below, right? I'll be eager to read it. Uh, listen, I'm not finna over talking and nothing like that. I ain't got all them crazy antics. You can see it, it's fire. You can see how hard it is. It's nice and thick. You do yours how you wanna do it and let me know how you would level up. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And then if you want that full recipe, don't forget, smokingthegrillerwithab.com. I guess what, folks? I'm out.